Hey guys, how you doing? It is Monday, December something. I don't know what date it is. December 6th? Wrong way, dude. Yeah, December 6th. Wow. Nailed that one. So I am up here in Barrie. It's very, very cold. And uh, we had a big snowstorm last night. And uh, it was that really heavy, slushy snow. And uh, and then this morning, the temperature went up to 7 degrees Celsius. So everything just melted. So I only had to do like a minor um, shovel. And uh, yeah, so over the last week, I had just been putting together the vlogs, uh, shot a couple videos already. This is my third one since I've been back, since we've been back from Cuba. And uh, yeah, just been trying to get things going, trying to get as much stuff shot as possible, trying to be as, as healthy as I can. You guys know I have this crazy weird job on YouTube where I eat food for a living. So, you know, on the days that I'm not eating at McDonald's or Burger King or Tim Hortons. <laughs> uh, I I have these really nice salads uh, pretty, pretty much every night with egg and avocado and nuts and seeds and uh, flax and, and uh, lots of lots of lettuce. It's a really big salad. Uh, I remember uh, bringing it to the table. I was at the cottage with my Uncle Ross and I uh, brought my salad to the table and he's like, Goes that for both of us? <laughs> I'm like, no, but if you want some, uh, he's like, no, I don't want any. So <laughs> that's how big my salad is. Uh, and then I also do my fish. So I have sardines, mackerel, uh, herring, and then six olives, and that's my protein. I just found out recently it's best to eat your salad first and try to fill up on as much of that as possible and then eat less uh, of the, let's say your protein, because a lot of times people, when they're breaking their fast and they eat fish or beef or chicken, uh, you know, they tend to eat more because they're hungry and they want to eat more because they're hungry. Whereas if you eat a really big salad first, that kind of satiates you a little bit and uh, you might not eat as much protein, um, again, whether it's beef, chicken, or fish, because you're only supposed to eat so much uh, every day. So, things I'm learning over time. Uh, I did accomplish the uh, the 10,000 step challenge. I did manage to do 10,000 steps every single day, even while I was away in Cuba. Uh, I felt when we were in Cuba, it was so much easier to get my steps in because you have to you have to leave your villa every day to go get food or to do stuff. You want to go to the pool, you want to go to the beach, so you're definitely way more active than I am here. Um, uh, the boys went for a big bike ride on Saturday. I'm just not in the mood right now to. Uh, to be freezing riding riding around in a trail and I haven't put my spikes on my on my uh, mountain bike yet so I have summer tires uh, and then I have winter tires for my bike and they're basically have these little micro steel spikes in them and uh, so I have to put those on and if you guys remember in the spring when I first started riding my bike uh, with Rusty, when I started putting him in the, the bike in Rusty, I had a really, really hard time keeping tires inflated, and I still, I still seem to think that it's there's something in the rim or there's something in the tire. But again, I even had a guy at a bike shop up in um, Perry Sound, and I said, "Dude, I said this is like a third time I've either blown a tube or just or it's leaking or whatever." And he found the leak in that one tube. And then try to figure out if there was something inside the tire, inside the rim, and he couldn't find anything. And he does that for a living. So um, hopefully, when I switch my tires over to the to the spikies, uh, then um, I hope I don't have any more flat issues. I'm also in the market to buy a fat bike, which is what all the guys ride in the winter time uh, in the trails uh, at the trail place where we go to. Uh, it just you, you kind of it's just such a nice big wide fat tire 
that it stays on top of the snow and if you put spikes plus those you're like good you're golden you're good to go and they also do night rides which i don't have enough lighting uh the guys always say they they'll lend me lights they have extra lights they've been upgrading over the years and they kind of keep their old gear so i'm good to go with lights i just it's it's hard <laughs> it's hard after being in cuba to do winter night riding in the in the snow and slush and mud anyway i still need to upgrade my gear uh so that I'm not wrecking my normal clothing because I don't have a, a lot of off-road gear like that. So I need to work on that. So as of today, I launched the pig roast video. I still have uh, the romantic dinner for two. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post that on the big channel or on this channel. I don't know, we'll see. It depends on how it turns out what it looks like because uh, it was just Carol and I and it was night there wasn't a whole lot of lights I just don't know which channel I'm gonna put it on but uh, it is kind of a food review and it's kind of different and uh, it's up to Carol too if she wants it to be put on the big channel or, or the vlog channel only but uh, uh, and then I have I think just the journey home and then I'll be back to the, doing these vlogs so uh, I guess you guys will be seeing this video maybe on Thursday or Friday and then I have Carl coming in two more times this week to try and finish up the last few episodes of his fishing show I think we're doing 9 and 10 yeah show 9 and 10 and then we have 11 12 uh, which I think he says we might be able to do in one day so we'll have to see and once Carl's done and out of my way then uh, once we've cleared up all Carl's editing then uh, it is go 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 KBD and uh, we are going to start booking trips uh, into the United States, to Europe, uh, anywhere I can get to go. And like I said in the McDonald's video, I was talking about stuff. Uh, you know, I'm always looking for suggestions from you guys of, of cities to go to, towns, um, and which country, which city, which state, which province. And uh, I might be doing most of them probably by myself. I'll be doing some of them with Carol, uh, hopefully a couple with Ben, uh, a couple with Paul. I'm, and a lot of people keep asking about Cook and Review. It will return. It will return. You have to be really patient. There's a lot of things going on in our lives and uh, just don't have the time uh, to do stuff. So. Uh, I, I have to do what I need to do. Paul's doing what he needs to do. Ben's doing what he needs to do. And uh, we'll, it'll all come together. Um, there's also talks amongst just my left side of my brain and my right side of my brain. And uh, with Carol and trying to figure out, because I'd like to start doing more of like cook and review kind of stuff. but. I don't like my kitchen to do them in, and I don't like interrupting Paul's family life, doing it at his house. So whether uh, I rent a space and we build a kitchen, you know, hopefully we can get a couple sponsors to help with that because it'll be really expensive to rent a space, to outfit a kitchen, uh, to put lighting in there and all that stuff, and it'd be really good to get some type of a sponsorship or two or three, uh, depending on how much they want to help sponsor every single show uh, there'd have to be like a year contract we'd have to promise a certain amount of videos and uh, make lots of content for you guys and um, I can't wait you know that, but again these are just things floating around in my head that I want to do because I'd like to do restaurant stuff but I can't do a lot of restaurant stuff all the time I'm really trying to cut back on that uh, I'm definitely trying to cut back on the fast food, although the last three videos have been fast food. But I'd like to do like one fast food place a week, one restaurant place a week, and then maybe two recipes. Uh, again, either with me and Carol or Paul or Ben, somebody. Uh, maybe even hook up with other chefs, uh, other YouTubers that do cooking um, on their YouTube uh, and just do collabs with those kinds of people too. And uh, just give you guys lots of content that's what it's all about is pump it out uh, it goes up on my YouTube channel goes up on my Facebook page uh, my Facebook page just hit 405,000 followers in 
in basically a year and a bit. I think my page last November, like I basically, what, 12, 13 months ago, it had only around 8,000 followers. Now it has 405,000 followers as of this morning, which is crazy. And I'm super stoked, super happy. It's nice to have both platforms. Uh, there, I think, I think uh, my Facebook page is going to uh, outgrow my YouTube pay, uh, YouTube channel. Um, it's just so how how fast it's growing on the Facebook page. So whether you guys watch me on YouTube or on Facebook, I appreciate all the views and all the thumbs up, all the comments. You guys are all amazing. Anyway, I'm almost home. Uh, now I got to uh, put this video together and get caught up and ahead of the game. I do have the make the uh, Burger King video edited and I just have to upload it today, build the thumbnail. Actually, I did the thumbnail already and I uh, just launched that tonight, uh, probably around four o'clock. That seems to be a good time for me to launch videos. Anyway, thanks guys for hanging out with me on my vlog channel and uh, seeing these little after me shoot a video type uh, scenario. Uh, there's a, a guy in a truck and he's got, pulling a trailer with a couple horses in it. So he's going nice and slow around this corner so his horses aren't jostled around, which is really nice of him. Anyway, so thanks guys for hanging out with me on this channel and we'll see you again in the next video. Ciao.